finally, days after the release of the new Slayer, a larger portion of the player base is having access to the newer Slayer weapons such as the Katanas and right now I have the tier 2 and the tier 3 variant of the Vorpal and the Void Edge Katana completely maxed out over here and I will be comparing it to a Giant Sword maxed out and an Emerald Blade maxed out. As you can see I don't have a Giant Sword right now but it's quite an easy coin to do that to just have 500 million coins with the Emerald Blade and the output of the Emerald Blade will be equal to the Giant Sword. And I can get another 500 mil to use a 1 bill Emerald Blade to compare that as well. For all my tests and the damage test, I'll be using 3 fourth Necron with a Warden Helmet and a Legendary Ender Dragon pet, which should be probably the most one of the most common ways to kill the new Slayer bosses right now. For the first test, I'm gonna be using an Emerald Blade with 500 million coins flat, and this should be equal to the Giant Sword in terms of damage. And I'm also gonna be hitting an enemy about 10 times and taking the average of it as it's fabled and the damage is quite random. So the average value I got from the Giant Sword or the 500 million coin Emerald Blade was 1,696,000 damage per hit or 1.7 million damage per hit to make it simpler. Next up is going to be the 1 billion coin Emerald Blade. Now for the 1 billion coin emerald blade, what I calculated to be average was 1,926,000 damage, so something about 1.9 million damage to make it simpler. Finally, now going into the slayer weapons, firstly I'm going to be using the weaker variant, the void edge katana, same enchants completely maxed out. For the Void Edge Katana, the average damage I got was 1,328,000 damage, which is about 1.3 million damage. And last but not least, the maxed out Vorpal Katana. And for the Vorpal Katana, the average damage was 1,924,000 damage, only 2,000 less damage than the Emerald Blade with 1 billion coins. So just from the average damage output, the first place goes to the 1 billion coin emerald blade, followed closely by the Vapal Katana, then the 500 million coin emerald blade, also known as the giant sword, and lastly the Voidage Katana. However, just from how little the difference is from the new katana to the emerald blade, I feel like there's no need to use the giant sword or the emerald blade anymore because the even the Voidage Katana, it was not that far off from the giant sword, but it has a 200 frosty ability which can be consistently used as it's 4 second cooldown and it's active for 4 seconds so if you want to you can just consistently have it on 1, 2, 3, 4 and when it's over yep again use it and with 200 frosty to end the man that's basically triple the damage and the giant sword was nowhere near triple not even double of this katana even better with the volpa katana that's literally 4 times the damage if you use ability and soul flow is cheap now which is like 1k every 4 seconds Alright, just to show you how insane this 300 ferocity is, here's the 12 million HP mini boss from the tier 3, it's me using the ability. Less than like literally 2 seconds and it's dead. Comparing that with the 1 billion coin emerald blade, here's the same 12 million HP mini boss. That took a lot longer than this Warpal Katana, which should do less damage, but due to the ferocity, it uh, damaged the Emerald Blade in DPS by like a lot more. That's it for this video, thank you, and I'm almost ended Slayer 6, so when I reach Ender Slayer 6, I might be doing one for the Atom Split Katana, comparing it with the other Katanas.